During the commissioning of the N8 Asim Fosu to Asim Praso stretch, Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia expressed that the road rehabilitation project will significantly reduce travel time and additional facilities associated with the project will be completed in due course. Dr. Baumia emphasized that the construction of this road exemplifies the new patriotic party's unwavering commitment to improving road infrastructure nationwide. He proudly stated that the party has achieved substantial advancement in infrastructure development, surpassing those of any other political parties in Ghana. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, at the inauguration of the Asim Praso Road project, acknowledged the assistance received from the Japanese government, amounting to $58 million. He further assured that the government will continue to secure additional funding to complete the remaining 67 kilometers between Asim Fosu and Yamoransa. The construction of this section of the N8 is a great step in the development of the road network in Ghana. It improves travel times for communities along the road, especially Asim Praso, Asim Breku, Asim Akofede, Brufuyedru, Asim Nyankumasi, and Asim Fusu. The N8 is an important link for the transportation of freight and people from the western and central regions to Ashanti region and the northern parts of Ghana, as well as our neighboring landlocked country. It is so important to see this road so beautifully done. Uh, I am so impressed with the work. This is not a green book road. This one is a feely, feely road that we are seeing. I want to assure you that our government will continue to secure additional funds to construct the remaining 67 kilometers between Asimfosu and Yamaransa. Ladies and gentlemen, Nananum, all of these roadworks tells you that under the MPP, Asim sees a lot more development than under any other government. Roads and Highways Minister Kwesia Mwakwata emphasized the utilization of environmentally friendly technologies during the construction process, resulting in the reduction of typically required volumes of gravels for road construction. I am indeed happy to announce that this road has been constructed using new technologies in the industry, such as in-situ stabilization of the old pavement to form part of the new road. The technology used is environmentally friendly as it recycles the old pavement and uses it as a soil base material. The Ministry of Roads and Highways intends to replicate this new technology as much as practicable on other projects across the country. Furthermore, the bilateral collaboration between Ghana and Japan has witnessed significant progress leading to the implementation of various infrastructure developmental projects. Suzuki Momoko, a representative from the Japanese embassy, speaking on behalf of the Japanese ambassador to Ghana, highlighted the importance of cultivating a maintenance culture for the roads to ensure their longevity. I would like to emphasize that in order to prevent early deterioration and expensive reconstruction, it is crucial to maintain the road constantly. Therefore, I wish to encourage the Ghana Highway Authority and the Ministry of Roads and Highway to provide strong leadership in the maintenance of this facility. The 30.2 N8 highway that connects from Asim Fosu to Anyang Kwanta in the Ashanti region to Yamoransa in the central region has been commissioned by the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. The Vice President believes this will help business on the stretch. Second, City News, Asim Praso. Many Ghanaians have over the years complained about